Hope you guys are ready for today. It's a DK book haul. It's like one of the best book hauls ever. Uh, it's all science themed books and I'm super excited about it because I love science. Now, I have not been able to find a really good science curriculum that my heart has just fallen in love with. So for this upcoming year, I decided that I was just gonna make our own curriculum using fun books that my kids can learn from. And I'm gonna be doing little mini science unit studies on different topics. So we are going to learn about the human body, we're going to learn about space, and we're going to learn about uh, ocean life and how the ocean affects different things. Now, I'm going to show you guys all of the books that we are going to be using from DK for these unit studies. And then as I put the unit studies together, I will also be rolling out with videos on how I plan to implement everything and additional resources that I'm gonna be using. Uh, so for the first one, it is The Human Body of Visual Encyclopedia. You guys, if you have not checked out DK books, I'm gonna link everything down below, but they are amazing, they're informative. You could very easily use these as your full science curriculum. I used some of their books for our plant life cycle unit study that I created a few years ago, and the kids learned so much, and that book was so informative. The next one is just the Smithsonian Human Body, and you guys, the things that I love about these books are they are so um, illustrative and they're just wonderful learning tools. I wish I had found these books when I was in nursing school. I feel like I would have really grasped certain concepts a lot sooner. So that's inside some of those. Now the next ones, I only got two for the human body so far. I feel like I'm going to get more, but I, I don't know. If you have a favorite human body book, link it below, please, because I'm obsessed with anatomy and physiology. I love it. So the next one for our ocean study is I'm going to be using an, anthropolo or an anthology of aquatic life. You guys, these books, they have about four or five of them on different things and they are so beautiful. I think this was one of the very first DK books I had come across was their uh, one on nature. It's a purple book. It's so beautiful inside. Now the next one for oceans is gonna be Ocean, the Definitive Visual Guide. And these are pretty heavy books, you guys. They're very well made. But look at that, and you learn so much. They have so much information on so many different parts of whatever the topic is that you're purchasing for. And then the last one on ocean is the Smithsonian Oceanology. Looks like that. But if you wanna make learning easy and beautiful, Grab some DK books, you guys, because they're just absolutely wonderful learning tools. And then moving on, I got a little crazy when it came to our space study. I'm thinking about using this one as our spine. It's the Smithsonian Space. And if you guys didn't know, you can, if you go to Thrift Books, and I'll link um, my affiliate link for Thrift Books down below in the description bar. But if you go to Thrift Books, you can get the DK books for fairly inexpensive if you're purchasing them used. I get a lot of their books for about five to seven dollars, depending on um, which book I'm getting. And as long as you choose good or very good, I mean, they come in pretty good condition. Like. This one was from Thrift Books. And the only thing that's really kind of janky about it is the, the sleeve. But if I take that off, I mean, this book looks brand new. So you get really good quality from Thrift Books and then you can get the DK books for fairly inexpensive there. So that's the space one. And then the next one is uh, the Smithsonian Planets. And I thought that it would be fun to pair this unit study with a solar system model for the kids. 
And then for all of my unit studies, I plan on finding reading books to go with them and videos and then little free printables. So if you're interested in checking out any of those unit studies, make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post those. Now, just to kind of go along with it, I've got Universe Eyewitness. I think this is the only one that I went a little bonkers on and bought like six books, but I feel like that is totally fine because these are books that I can create different unit studies with on the same topic over and over and over as my kids even enter into high school. So these are the perfect books that will just stay with you long term. Now the next one is My Book of Stars and Planets, A Fact-Filled Guide to Space. And it's basically the same thing. And I think a lot of these, uh, you don't need all of these books to do a science unit study. I just learned that from our um, life cycle on plants unit study that the book I originally purchased thinking oh this is going to be our spine ended up being something that I I liked to have as a learning guide but I didn't want to use it as our spine. I actually ended up using the second book I purchased that was just supposed to be a more of a learning guide but that actually ended up working so much better as our spine. So that's kind of why I bought so many books on the same topic, <laughs> just because they, they approach the same material, but in different ways. And I really love that about DK. Uh, the next one is I found an eyewitness workbook on stars and planets, and I want to see if they have any on the human body, because this is so cool. They give you information, but they also ask your child, um, different questions along the way and they give them uh, star knowledge and then towards the end of the workbook they even give you a little test let me try to find one for you guys so they give you little tests to do and you can do them or not do them depending on how you feel about testing and then towards the very end they give you all of the activity answers too so I thought that this would be a fun little workbook to work in for my kids and that would complement our unit study perfectly. So let me know, did you enjoy seeing any of these books? Would you like to see what kind of unit study would you like to see me create first? Would you like to see the one that we're going to do on the human body, space, or oceans? I can't wait to share that with you guys. I can't wait to sit down and have time to write it out and just kind of dive deep in with my kids on the science this year. I'm so excited about science this year because I feel I feel like we've lacked in it this past year and my daughter absolutely loves this subject and I can't wait to just open up and see her explore and gain that passion even more for it. So uh, don't forget all of these books are going to be linked down in the description bar. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you again later. Bye.